If you can't kill a boss, no reason why you can't look like one. Moogle, putting the wow in transmogs. Demon Hunters, Demon Hunters. Well, you know, blue works. The shoulders are part of the tier set, so that's Mythic, Burning Throne. And you're looking at uh, Mother of Night, 5% on the drop rate for those shoulders. Doing a spin, showing a cloak, which looks really cool here. Uh, the chest tunic of Indulgence, Naxxramas. That spins you back to Wrath. Normal mode, 25 man. Grobulus is the boss, 22% on the drop rate. Next up, the belt. Part of the same tier set as the shoulders, which of course is from the Burning Throne Mythic. Argus the Unmaker is the boss. And we're going to spin you back to Wrath of the Lich King again for the legs. Same place as the chest. Next, Ramus, 25 man. Different boss though, Maxna. 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 <laughs> it's one of those three is probably right. But again, it's a spider. What are the odds that a spider is going to get pissed off that I don't call its name right? Oppressor's Merciless Treads. That's Hellfire Citadel, regular mode. Tyrant Vel Harry, recolor from the monk set from Wad. The hands are High Mountain. Uh, you get it off of Stonebinder Agrog, or you could buy it on the auction house. Probably the best way to go would be the auction house. Next up, we're going to hook you up with the back mantle of the victorious dead. Trial of Valor on that, so that's Legion. And Wild Gladiator's Helm, Wild PvP Vendor if you hoard warmongering. Final piece is the weapon, sticking with the blue and gray here. A uh, high Jill summit from BC is the way to get it. Borrowing a couple of pieces from Monk Tears in Mist Pandaria, starting off with the shoulders. Siege of Ogamar Mythic on that black market auction house is the place. Basically, that's where you're going to have to go in order to get that. Next up, we have the Rockfall Rip Wraps, which is Throne of Thunder Heroic. Uh, Tordos is the boss, 24% on the drop rate. Next up, we have the belt, Worldbender Wasteband. That's Throne of Thunder Heroic. Rodan is the boss, 10% on the drop rate for that particular belt. Like I said, all these pieces are from Rogue Tears, but these are recolors used for Demon Hunters. Whatever comes to Siege of Ogamar, I don't quite get it. There's different conflicting information as to this is available and this is not available it's just a weird place then sometimes just the titan forge isn't available and there's a different name from the same exact piece that one is available one is not so it's just really hard to make heads or tails of so maybe you have it maybe you could buy it on the black market auction house or maybe you could still farm it it's just so hard to tell in that place i really should shy away from there but I like these pieces. I like this set for Demon Hunters. It's just very unique looking. As you can see, the cloak is from Old Deer. Next up, we have the headpiece, Tactical Head Gun. That's Legion Level Engineering. That's the auction house or your favorite local engineer. And the weapon is the final piece, Siege of Ogmar Heroic. For the scantily clad, I could use a word that rhymes with rut. But if I use that word, then good old YouTube will flag me for bad words. It's worse. It's just crazy. Anyway, the chest is the ceremonial leather harness, which you get out of whirling, whirling, wailing, wailing caverns. Sorry for my Rain Man moment there. You could also buy that piece on the auction house. The belt is alliance only, but there are lookalikes, sort of, kind of. A lot of lookalikes, actually. Not not exact, but in the same ballpark, so just check Wowhead for that if you're Horde. Uh, the legs are part of the same drop set from Vanilla uh, as the chest, so you could get both pieces on the auction house, and that's probably the best way to go. Uh, the feet here are the Waking City Mythic. Mott is the boss, kind of a fair drop rate, sticking with the Blood Elf dude. And we're going to hook you up with the... Bracers next, Bracers of Dark Prophecy. That's the Waking City Mythic. Now keep in mind the heroic, the normal mode, the LFR mode. It's a, just a different shade of gray. You can still work with it if you already have that or you happen to go there for another reason and get that. As you can see, the back is from Wrath of the Lich King. The headpiece here, fine. Pilgrim's Hat. 
That's from the Pilgrim Bounty event. That's a quest, so that's an easy pickup. Certain time of year, though. And a weapon, Battle of Dazzlehar LFR version. Going with a little bit of dark brown, gray, blue, and that fell green. Starting off with the shoulders, Blood Tan Pauldrons. That's Hellfire Citadel Mythic. D and Dark Whisper is the boss. 15% on the drop rate. It's part of a rogue tier, but it's recolored for the other classes that wear leather. You're looking at the chest. Quest Reward. Assault Battery is the name of the quest. That's a super easy get from Legion. Now for the belt, I might have made a mistake here. I'm not sure if this is Mythic or regular version. Uh, various mobs, or you could buy it on the auction house. Whether it's Mythic or regular, both should probably be listed on the auction house. The legs are Ice Pine Bridges, which are High Mountain, which of course is Legion. Drops from Greystone Shardfinder or the auction house, probably the best way to go. Now we have the Blood Elf Dude, and we're hooking you up with boots which are part of the same tier set as the shoulders and of course that helm looking really cool hellfire citadel mythic the wrists here hellfire citadel mythic as well siege master martak is the boss five percent on the drop rate for the gore bound wrist guards and now we're going to show you that cloak which is alliance only uh it's order of embers equipment cash but there are lookalikes for the horde so check wowhead for that the headpiece Gerd Tog's discarded hood, Hellfire Citadel, that would be mythic once again. Dia Dark Whisper is the boss. And the weapon, Hellfire Citadel Mythic, one of my favorites, Mindbender's Flame Blade. Along with Dark Purple Red, is an absolute great color for Demon Hunters. The shoulders got a little bit of funky here with the chroma key, but those are definitely uh, red shoulders. Uh, Mugushan Volts is the place heroic. Uh, that's a recolor from the monk tier from Mist Pandaria. The chest is vanilla. Feralus is the place, or you could just buy that on the auction house. Next up, we have the belt, which is from Throne of Thunder, which is from Mist Pandaria. Swen is the boss. Girdle of Night and Day. Definitely a girdle worth getting. Goes with a lot of different things. 22% on that drop rate. I think the Shadow Pan uh, Soul People, the quartermaster there, might sell that. I'm not 100% sure. Uh, the leggings are Nihiloth of the Waking City Heroic. So we're doing a little bit of a mix there. Vanilla Chest and that basic BFA piece on the legs. The feet, once again, vanilla. Northern Barons, Bard's Boots, Auction House. Pretty good drop rate, though, if you want to hit up Swift Main. Now for the hands, Bright Dawn Bracers. Netherstorm is the place. It's Quest Reward Information Gathering. Really cool-looking bracers with this set. It says hands, but those are the wrist pieces. Made a little bit of a mistake. The headpiece is Scout's Hood, Zanger Marsh. It's Quest Reward Saving the Spore Locks. So that's always an interesting quest. And Cloak of Arcane Alacrity from a vendor in Shitrath City. The weapon is a drop, low rate. Just buy it on the auction house, best way to go. Little bit of a unique look for Demon Hunters, but I think this baby blue kind of works. Mantle of Wicked Revenge. We're pulling it from the Temple of Anchorage. Fankris the Unyielding, about 18% to get him to yield that chest piece. Look at that cape, goes incredible with this set. Void Caller Jerkin is the chest. Frost Fire Ridge, various mobs there, or you could buy it on the auction house. Actually, you could throw in almost any kind of brown or grayish brown chest because you got the tabard covering it up if you want to use that tabard. Uh, Dread Gladiator's Leather Belt, that is a lion's only on that belt. That was the best belt I could find that went, so the horde are going to have to find a substitute. Cold Snout Bridges, that's Frostfire Ridge again, various bombs or the auction house. So that's an easy get because you can buy the chest as well as the legs from the auction house. The feet are Wild Gladiator's Boots of Victory. If you're on the Horde side of the equation, you're going to have to go warmongering to get those boots. Same price for both factions. Doing a spin, showing the cape. But first, here are the wrists. Mop PvP Vendor, Dreadful Gladiator's Arm Wraps of Alacrity. They could also be bought on the auction house. They could also be crafted. So that's an interesting piece. Uh, the headpiece, Wild Gladiator's Helm. 
which is part of the same tier set as the boots if you hoard warmongering and the back piece is cloak of hideous unity hellfire citadel the relic fell lord zakoon is lost good drop rate on that love this weapon rigor mortis ice crown citadel heroic 25 band and sword my name is Luxley. I want to thank everybody for stopping by and leave you with a final thought. Whatever it is by you, whether it's morning, afternoon, or night, make that day absolutely epic. Thank you for watching.